One of the main things you want to get early in PAL World is a decent mount, and of course the faster the better. Endgame PALs are some of the fastest, but you can get very quick PALs from very early in the game. We're also going to talk a little bit about breeding PALs to make them even quicker with traits, but here then are the 10 fastest PALs in game, and these are confirmed with their base stats, so it's very accurate, and that's based on their sprint speeds. I've also excluded water mounts as there is no need to use them really, as you can simply fly over water. Lastly I'll recap and give you what mounts you should really be using from early, mid and late game. Let's take a look at number 10. In at number 10 we have Dire Howl, probably the first mount most players will have in the game. Found across half of the green parts of the map, Dire Howl has a base sprint speed of 1050. You also unlock the mount for Dire Howl fairly early, which is the reason why most players will use it. In at number 9 is Rayhound, located in the sandy desert part of the world map in the northeast section. All the pals here are between level 30 and 40, so it's not a mount you will be able to get in the early parts of the game. In at number 8, 7 and 6 we have three mounts of all the same speed, Univolt, Hellzephyr and Suzaku. Univolt is an electric type horse found only in the small section of the map just across the water from the volcanic island. It's probably the second mount you will be able to unlock and ride, and it's just slightly faster than Dire Howl. Hellzephyr found in the surrounding areas of the second tower, you will have to wait until night time in order to catch it. Suzaku is one of the stronger regular pals in game, but it's only found in the desert and it's tough to catch early. But that doesn't make too much of a difference because the mount saddle doesn't unlock till later in the game anyway. In at number 5 and number 4 we have Beacon first, who is an electric type bird found in the northern parts of the desert. Now this pal can be made with some lower level ones through breeding, but the saddle will not unlock until level 34, which is the earliest you can use it. The next one on the list is Shadowbeak, my favourite pal, but he's only found after level 40 on the Sanctuary number 3. In at number 3 we have Ragnarok and Pyrin, both have a speed of 1300. These piles are both found in the same location in and around the volcano in the southwest corner of the map and are found after level 30. These can both be bred more easily, however the mounts for them don't unlock until level 30 and level 37, so there's no point in breeding them, you can simply catch them if you're already those levels. Lastly we have number one in our list for regular pals excluding legendaries and that is Phalaris. A fire type bird located in the animal sanctuary number three, he is the fastest of the regular mounts in at 1400 base sprint speed and he can only be found after level 40, which means despite his speed you won't be able to use him until later in the game. So then guys there we have it, the 10 fastest regular mounts in the game based on their speeds. But given that, what is the best mount to use in the game, early, mid and late game, which is really decided on at what levels you can unlock the saddles for these mounts. We'll start with ground mounts. Early game, from level 10 to around 30, your best mount is Dire Howl, as you can catch it very early and you can build the harness at level 9. Univolt is slightly faster and stronger and only level 8 or so to catch but requires level 14, so if you want to switch to Univolt after level 14 then you can but the speed difference isn't too much, and both are going to be your best bets until you get to mid game. Now unfortunately the next best mounts are not caught until you're after level 30, and that is the level you can unlock the saddle for Pyrin, and you should try to catch him as soon as you can as he's the second fastest of the regular mounts, and you can get him without too much problem. And in fact in terms of regular ground mounts, Pyrin is probably the best one of all, even including the legendary ones. For flying mounts there are no fast ones in the top 10, so whatever you can find will have to do and since Nightwing's saddle is unlocked at level 15 that's probably your best bet until you can get to after level 30 where you can start using Hellzephyr at level 31 
or the easiest one to probably get and is the quickest, Ragnarok, which you can start using at level 37. And that will be the pal that you can use until you catch a legendary. Your best bet to keep your pals the quickest is to use Dire Howl, then, then Pyrin, or Nightwing, then Ragnarok. What about the legendary pals then? Well, the fastest of the ground legendary pals is Palladius and Necromis, with both having a speed of 1400, but they only are slightly faster than Pyrin. Jetragon is of course the fastest mount in the game, with over 3300 base speed movement. I mean, he does have the word Jet in his name, so you can expect him to be fast, but you can't build his saddle until it's level 50, and so he is a mount that you cannot use until the very end of the game. At which point it's definitely worth it because he goes over twice as fast as any of the other mounts. Lastly then, what about increasing the speeds of your pals? Well, I have a great video already about passing the traits from one pal to another and I'll link that in the description. And you do that by breeding pals with speed traits together and the offspring have a chance of getting both of those traits on the same pal. For example, this Kitsune has been bred and has multiple speed increases on them. None of your regular pals will of course be as fast as Jetragon, but you can hugely increase your speed and I'd recommend doing this particularly with Nightwing as it's a mount you'll have to use a lot if you're looking for an early game flying mount and it's definitely a bit slow. Anyway, if you found this guide helpful, like and subscribe and leave a comment about your thoughts on the fastest mounts below and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.